I bought all of the biscuits that I could find here in the UK. So we can try all of them. Let me grab them. These biscuits. I think that's all of them. These are all of the, the most popular biscuits uh, that are here in the UK. We've got Jaffa Cakes, Digestives, Bami Dodgers, some Ginger Nuts, Tim Tams, Shortbread Fingers, and Jam and Creams. We've the Hobnob, Biscoffs. I think I need to flip my camera, don't I? I got all of the British biscuits to try. Welcome to Biscuit 101. Easy, okay. What is the difference between a cookie, a biscuit, and a limp biscuit? People get them confused all the time. One way to know the difference is a cookie is always a biscuit, but a biscuit is not always a cookie. A cookie is a subgenre of a biscuit. What about limp biscuit? Okay, a highway is not my way unless my way is the highway. Does that make sense? Yeah, cookie, subgenre of biscuit. All highways aren't my way unless my way is a highway. One way to tell the difference between a cookie and a biscuit, a cookie will have its morsels within its contents. And biscuit can be covered, filled, or stacked. Uh, biscuits are usually harder. Cookies are usually softer. And another way to tell is if you dip your flour-based baked good into a glass of milk and hold it for 30 seconds, if it gets soggy, it's a cookie. If it gets moist, it's a biscuit. Let's try some biscuits. I got all of the best biscuits here. I'm gonna start with the Jaffa Cakes. I've actually never seen what a Jaffa Cake even looks like. Let's open this. This is nothing like I imagined. This is, this is what a Jaffa Cake looks like? That's surprising. I literally thought it would be like cosmic brownies for some reason. Ooh, let me get my glass of milk here. What? There's like a... So there is um. I don't even know if you can see it. Underneath the chocolate coating, there's jam. I was not expecting jelly. Did you guys know there was jelly in there? I really went into this, this biscuit blind. <laughs> It's weird. Jaffa cakes. What are we what are we rating the Jaffa cakes? C for a Jaffa cake. I might move it up. Maybe the other ones are gonna be worse. Let's try the Tim Tam next. <laughs> Tim Tam slam? What does that mean? Slam it like <gasps> Okay, here we go. This one is actually really good. I genuinely think that these ones are super good. The caramel has a really good really good flavor bite both ends and use it as a straw to drink <laughs> is that what people do i don't know what the original tim tams are like but these caramel ones i'm definitely gonna be buying more that's what a tim tam slam is okay eating both ends and then using it as a straw how do you use it as a straw though if there's caramel in the middle i'm gonna put tim tams in the a category for now if that's okay <laughs> If you guys want to make me a list, I will find them, I will buy them, and then I will try them. Okay, I'm thinking digestives or ginger nuts. Let's see, biscuit unboxing. Oh, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks quite basic. This is the most basic looking biscuit I have ever seen. Oh, it smells like gingerbread. I love gingerbread. This is a good, we're off to a good start. This one's actually spicy. I love gingerbread. This one's good, but it's got that spicy after after smack. <laughs> yeah, just a just a spicy after smack. The first bite is good. The aftertaste is spicy ginger. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, so how I'm gonna judge this is if I would buy these again and eat them regularly for the rest of my life until I die. Tim Tams are definitely, I'm gonna buy these every, like, for the rest of my life until I die, keep them in my grandma cupboard when I get one, you know, stuff like that. Get your little china cupboard, things like that. Um, I don't know about drop cakes though. Calling ginger spicy is crazy. It's a different type of spice, so it's not like, it's not like a pepper spice, but it's a, it's a definite spice. It's like in the back of your throat. I'm gonna rate the ginger nuts, I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them with a C. 
Maybe it's because I just them not. I got that American microbiome where when I get sick, I eat McDonald's and I feel better. It's actually a problem. <laughs> Maybe if I had a British microbiome, I would love these. Wait a second. Hold the phone. I just got something. Somebody said that these ginger nuts were Ed Sharon's favorite. And I think that was a joke. And I think I, I think I just got that. Wow, that took me a minute. That processed in the back of my brain for a good minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's a Biscoff? Biscoff is this one. But it also sounds like an insult, right? Like you can just tell someone to go Biscoff. I like it. Right, let's open up these jammy dodgers. Whoa. Whoa, this is a big, this is a big biscuit. Okay, this is what our jammy dodgers look like. Let me get you, let me get you as close as possible. It's got a cue heart on it. It looks like it's filled with jam and it smells like a biscuit. Little Tasmania, what does this stuff mean? Somebody give me a Australian translator, please. Let's take a bite of this. Okay, I don't know if there's different, there is different flavors. So this is the raspberry flavor and the jam is so good. The biscuit itself is just so-so, but the jam inside is so good. I'm putting this one in B, I already know. Yeah, B. I would put in A if the biscuit itself was really good. Do biscuits require to be dunked in milk to be good? Not, they don't require it. But that's like the one thing I look forward to in the morning. Oh, I used to drink coffee. I don't drink coffee anymore. But when I drank coffee, my like I would go to bed at nighttime so excited to wake up to like dip Biscoffs in coffee. I would go to sleep at nighttime like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to go to sleep because then I can wake up and then I can have my little my little biscuit with my coffee. That's my favorite morning routine. <laughs> got my little cup of milk here. My friend, she got me this for Christmas. It's a cute, and then look, it's got a little, it's got a little hood. She was like, this reminded me of you, so I bought it for you, and I was like, I love it, thank you. Let's try the hobnobs. These ones are the, the original, the king. Let's open this up. Let's get a hob. Oh my gosh, they're so melty. I think it's because I have my heater on because I'm really cold in a dress. I made such a big mess. <laughs> Hobnobs are pretty good. I like them, but I don't think I would buy them very often because of how messy they are. I'm gonna put hobnobs in, I'll put them in C. Next biscuit, the jam and creams. It has jam and cream. And they're way smaller, look at that. They're teeny. This one is really good. It's not extremely sweet, actually. This one is definitely an A-tier biscuit. This one is so good. I prefer the less sweet stuff, too. I'm making a mess. What is next? We've gone through halfway already, which is crazy. Let's do the classic digestives. They're so big. Okay, look at this. <laughs> look at how big this one is. This one is giant. It smells, actually it smells like a good biscuit. It's not gonna fit in my cup, so I'm gonna have to break it in half. Yeah, it is not sweet at all. It's like a, like a sugarless graham cracker. I actually really like it because it's not that sweet. It's just like a nice treat. Let me think. This one also is really popular. The shortbread fingers. So these ones are gonna be next. I've never tried these either. Whoa, that is super buttery. Whoa. 
It smells like a stick of butter. Mmm. I wasn't expecting that much buttery taste. I know it said buttery. But this <laughs> smells like a stick of butter. Mmm. I'm a I'm a biscuit monster. Nom 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 nom. Maybe I should do a stream where I bake some biscuits. I've made dog biscuits before. In America, we don't have a lot of biscuits. Like, it's not in our culture. But one thing that UK doesn't have that I'm addicted to in America is blonde Oreos. You asked, how were the dog biscuits? To be honest, they were all right. <laughs> I actually ate one. So after I baked them, I tried one and was like, hmm, okay. And it just tasted like a peanut butter, like, it tastes like a peanut butter biscuit, but not sweet at all. It had zero sweetness, but Hero loved it. Okay, I'm gonna put the shortbread. Whoa, shortbread fingers are gonna go. I'm gonna put them in B. I love your chikorita. I love chikorita. I remember uh, when I was like younger, I used to always like, you know the song Single Ladies that would play like all the time on the radio? I heard that song. And for some reason, as a kid, I, instead of saying like all the single ladies, I would just be like, all the chikoritas, all the chikoritas. Put your leaf up, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I would always sing that. I just always go around, walking around singing all the chikoritas. I don't know why. I honestly didn't think that this was gonna be hard. But now that I think I've eaten so many sweets, I'm like, I don't know if I can have it anymore. Okay. I bought one cookie to show the difference between biscuits and cookies and um, I don't think I can eat the cookies. I'm just gonna put the cookies away. This is a biscuit stream. I don't gotta eat cookies. I can't do it. I can smell the sweetness and I'm already feeling, I'm already feeling it from eating so many. I'm like, I can't do it. We'll eat these ones. Le Petit Citron. Throw it on the ground. I don't need your cookies. I'm an adult. How do I open this? Oh, 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 oh. It opens from the top. Fancy. What? 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 They're soft. They're squishy. They're soft and squishy. And they're mushy. It's lemony. It smells so good. This is not a biscuit. But it smells so good. <laughs> This one's definitely a cake, and it's good. This is definitely a cake. It is good though. It's not extremely sweet. I'm gonna put the Le Petit Citron in F tier, because we don't have anything in F tier, and it's not a biscuit. Okay, now this is kind of the ultimate test, because now that I've tried all these biscuits I've never tried before, I'm gonna compare them to my two favorite biscuits. So now that I know what every biscuit tastes like, I can compare them. Look at that. There's actually a lot of biscuits that I thought I meant to buy and thought I did buy, but didn't buy. I might actually need help eating all these biscuits. I didn't think I would have an issue doing this, but I don't think I've had this many sweets in a row before. Oh, the biscuit. just has um the perfect flavor not too sweet not too gingery it's perfect biscoff is s tier i think these are my new favorite i think this one's my new favorite and sadly i think i'm knocking down these a tier or two i'm adding tim tams to my list <laughs> next stream i want to have a posh tea party i have all of these cute dresses and I'm like, you know what? I never wear them because when I stream, I usually just put on my pajama pants and a shirt. A posh tea party is going to be a really good excuse to wear a really pretty dress. From other men